because I love Trivia Man Machine Head, so... Yeah. Anyways. So I got my list here, because I don't remember every single fucking thing from that, because that happened a little while ago. <coughs> but anyways. Best guitarist game, who do you vote for? Uh, out of the choices, I actually voted for Brendan Small. Me too. Brendan Small from Death Claw. And guess what? He didn't win. So. I, I still think John 5 is actually pretty good. Yeah. Because, you know, Rob Zombie. Yeah, I like Rob Zombie. Uh, John 5 won. But, I don't think he should have, because I think Brennan Small is better. And I actually got to see Death Clock live, and he was good for his guitar playing, but their sound was just shit. <laughs> it was bad, but... Machine Head was there too, so that just my pants for that one. <laughs> um, best drummer game, who'd you vote for? Uh, I didn't really know RJ Hale at the time, so I voted for the guy from Death Vault. Gene Hoglin. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right, but anyways, yeah, <laughs> that's who I voted for too. From Death Vault and Testament. And he didn't win. RJ Hale won. Yeah. Fuck you, RJ Hale. Fuck you, Hailstorm. Damn. Hailstorm was good. I don't care what you say. I don't even know why they were there. They're not metal. Well, they may this not is be the metal. Revolver Golden Gods. The Metal Award Show. Not Metal Award Show. Well, it may not be completely... Well, Black Veil Brides was there, so... I'm yeah, gonna keep living shit out of you. By the way. I don't know what your name is because you're a fucking queer, but anyways, fuck you. Come at me with that fucking award. I'll fucking fuck your day up, you piece of shit. Anyways, <laughs> uh, Paul Gray, best bassist, who'd you vote for? This was actually kind of hard to uh, vote for. How is it hard? I mean, you got Lemmy and Steve Harris and then Rex. Exactly. I, I voted for Rex because, you know, Pantera. <laughs> it was hard to uh, choose one, but I chose Rex. And I uh, really didn't care unless Rex, Steve Harris, or Lemmy won. And Lemmy won, obviously, but... I actually thought Steve Harris would win for some reason. I would, too. He's fucking hell of a bass player, I tell Yeah, you. I know. I mean, one of the, still one of the biggest bands. Okay. Biggest what band? Rock and heavy metal. They're not rock. They're metal. They used to All be, the way. They used to be some type of rock. Alright. Anyways, best vocalist. I don't even need to look at this fellow at all. Uh, that's who I voted for too. He's my favorite vocalist of all time. Always will be, even though he sucked in the performance. Oh, he he hasn't done anything from uh, Pantera since like 2003 or 2001 or something. Whenever they disbanded. 2001. I think it was 2001. Yeah, because their last show was in Korea. I'll have to check. I don't. I'm not saying for certain, but anyways, but Corey Taylor won. And <sighs> how do you feel about Slipknot? Uh, I think Slipknot is actually not one of my favorite bands, but I I kind of like them. They're not a bad band. Yeah, they're not terrible. It's just I never really got into them. And I definitely don't feel that Corey Taylor should have won. As Maria Brink was in here and she saw the cell. <laughs> and Lizzie Hale. It's a piece of shit. No. No. No, she's not that. She's not that bad. I just I don't like the style of music that they play. It's too uh 
Oh, her guitar that she played. The Explorer? Yeah. I want that now. Brennan's Falls is better. Come <coughs> to Hoss. Anyways, uh, the best new talent, who do you vote for? I can't remember. I think I, I think I voted for Device because uh, David Raymond. Yep, me too. And guess what? They won! Yay! Yay. Alright. Most metal athlete. I didn't vote for that one actually. You didn't vote for the Packer? Well, I, I didn't I didn't vote for that entire thing. I, I guess I kinda missed that. I vote for voted for uh, Tom Crabtree from the Green Bay Packers. Because uh, Packers are my second favorite team. And Triple H one. And Triple H one, which I wasn't too uh Triple H is a badass because he's fucking Triple H. You, you might want to take both of those because there's other. I don't know. Really nice Alright, best live band. Who do you vote for? I think you already know who mine is. I, I voted for um, Land of God. It was hard because the choice. Let's see the choices that they had. They had Anthrax, Five Finger Death Punch, Hatebreed, uh, Lamb of God. Slipknot and Volby. I think I voted for Volby. I voted for Lamb of God. I liked their live performance. For Randy uh, Boy. Uh, yeah, I voted for Volby. Just. I didn't think they had a chance of hell over fucking Anthrax and Lamb of God. But I fucking. I love Anthrax, Death Punch, uh, <laughs> Lamb of God, and Volby. But Slipknot won. Uh, comeback of the year. Who should yeah. vote for? Tenacious D. That's right. They <laughs> won. Rightfully so, too. Yes. Jack Black came out. And I was like, geez. Song of the year. Fuck you, Black Bill Brides. All right, anyways. Wait, song of the year. Who do you vote for? Mm -hmm. ah, you jacked the fuck out. <laughs> that, that's actually what I voted for. Yeah, I voted for I ejaculate fire by death. Fuck. And do I this video? Too, by the way. <laughs> I just want to punch this paper because it has two bands that I hate so much. Right, right next to each other. other. Three yeah. shitty bands. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see the top three. I mean, not the top three, but the three that are on the list. Ask Alexandria. Ven Sevenfold. Black Veil Brides. <laughs> Deathlock. Hailstorm. In this moment. He said, uh, fuck the rest. Besides Death Clock, Hailstorm is acceptable in this song. Uh, and that, that in this moment. Oh yeah, that does have one. He's fucking so small to me. Alright, most dedicated fans, this is the one I was hoping for the most. I don't know how... And... Pissed me off the yes. most because they didn't win. But anyways... The winner of... Oh wait, who'd you vote for? Obviously. Uh, y yeah, you already know. Black Label. My Black Label Society did not win. Uh, him, him. Him did. I, I don't know them. They were, they were, they were on like the commercial thing with Bull Beat, so I didn't really... Yeah, that. The Wings of the Butterfly song that they... I actually was in that song, into that song when I was younger. Fuck, 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 the fuck, fuck him. <laughs> okay, the last one was Album of the Year. Who'd you vote for? I don't remember what I voted for. I don't either. I think I... I think I voted for, um... I think I voted for Soundgarden. I think I did, too. I didn't... I didn't know Hailstone, I think. So. Um... Fuck's here. Mm. <laughs> Random people. Not damn people. Yeah, but uh, Deftones won. I don't, I'm not even going to say that album because I don't know how the fuck to say it because it's like Japanese or some shit. But anyway, <laughs> uh, what do you think about the performances? Who do you think is the best? I thought Five Figure Death Punch and Hailstorm were the best. My two favorite were, my favorite was Five Figure Death Punch and I really liked uh, Anthrax. And nobody seemed to know who the uh, guitar player, besides Scott Ian, obviously, was. And Shadow's Fall. It was John. Donuts from Shadows Fall, and I thought that was badass when he started to play the sleep solo. 
because he's a badass guitar player. You should definitely check out Chattel's Fall. I'm going to do some reviews on their albums too because I got two, I think. Yeah, I got <laughs> Threads of two. Life and um, uh, their new one before their newest one. I can't remember what it's called. It's got King, no, the King of Nothing on it. Mm, shit like that. What the fuck is it called? I don't know, but anyways. It didn't cover as really good. Yeah, the, in the instruments for In This Love, uh, In This Love, wow, <laughs> This Love, were pretty good. And it's cool to see Rex and uh, Phil back together, since down. But Phil, uh, I don't know, man. Phil, I don't know what happened to his voice. For Pantera, he, he uses a different voice. He sounds, sings like Southern Metal with Down. That's probably what you get. Have you heard the War Beast song? No. It's good song. He's on vocals for that too. I don't remember what the song's called though. Uh, anyways, I can't remember who else played. Does Anthrax came out first? Ah, oh, Danzig was there too. Danzig. That's nice yeah. to see him do. Danzig came out. He was like the freaking Hulk. He was like Chris in Resident Evil Five. Just like <laughs> fuck Chris. <laughs> Piece of shit. I mean, the old ones he is. He is Semi, you could uh, you could stand them a little bit, but uh, fuck the new ones, dude. Right up the asshole. Jill is much better. Jill's the best character in the game. Yes. Then Leon. But and then Claire. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Then. I don't even know. Exactly. So it's Claire. <laughs> Yeah, Claire's pretty cool. But she's a Redfield, so... Fuck <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, um... Metallica. Uh, no, no, don't, e don't even discuss that. Metallica. Metallica. Oh my god. They're not even in my top ten anymore. Just cause, you know, the the Louie thing. Oh my god, I don't even want to talk to them. Lulu? Yeah. Uh, they're the fucking... It's like the worst album ever even thought of or created. <laughs> that is so bad. But Metallica fucking blue. That's what we're basically trying to say. Yeah, everybody in like the thing and talking with Jose. Jose, best metal host. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were talking to him and uh, Jose asked the, who they were there to see, and they said, well, most of them said Metallica. I yeah, think they were let down. I was let down. I was actually kind of excited to see um, Metallica play, but they were James's voice. Ah, James's voice. <laughs> I mean, Lars is always bad, but you know. Lars is a fucking piece of shit. He's always been a piece of shit. But except for Dire's Eve on the album, that's Metallica song ever. I don't know the old albums. The, the first At least he did season. something different besides fucking snare, I had, snare, I had, snare, I had, face up, snare, I had. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, who else played? Alright, so I can cut out again. So, anyways, we're talking about how shitty Metallica was. Because they were shitty. Yeah. But let's move on from that, because if you saw it, you know. But, anyways, um,. What else to say? What are we talking about? Four? Four cut out? I don't know. I don't know how far we get it. <laughs> well, okay. Well, so we... Oh, yeah. I'm talking about Zach Wilde and how we're thinking that they were going to come out and do something with, uh, for Jeff Hanneman. Damn it, Otacon. It's not fun. Uh, yeah. For... Jeffrey Hanneman. Yeah, I thought they were going to do something. And it was cool to see Kara King there. Don't you agree? I thought we were going to do something with uh, Zach Wilde and... Who? Oh. I, I thought they were going to do that, too. Well, they played a little tiny part of Red and Bullet, but... I mean, that would... I know it was in like 2004, obviously, but um, I thought they were going to, him and Phil and Rex, I thought they were going to do like a uh, tribute to Don Bay. That would have been cool. Even though Zach Wilde wouldn't be singing. 
Zach Wilde singing. Uh, he didn't even sing now. He's fucking. He's got terrible after his blood blow. Oh, Zachary. What can we ever do with you? But anyways, shit's done. Um, <laughs> so, your overall thoughts? What do you think? Was it good? Bad? Fuck it. Nigger. Cocksucker. What do you think? I mean, it was it was good, but to see all the bands that I hate most uh, just there, it's just kind of ruined it for me. The Avenged Sevenfold. Yeah, fuck, fuck Avenged Sevenfold, right up their gay assholes. Right up the dick hole. Um, that was halfway decent. The awards were shit, except for the ones that we talked about earlier, and the uh, the live bands. I mean, the live performances. Like we said, Death Punch and the other ones, Anthrax and Danzy, those are pretty good. But I thought it was pretty decent. Uh, last year was definitely better. Except for Black Bill Brides played. And um, they should go die somewhere. <laughs> oh, you fat ass motherfucker, I'm gonna kick your ass. Yeah. He's like fucking a toothpick. I'm breaking over my knee. You don't even need to break him over your knee, just like flick him with your unstraight pinky. He's like, yeah, he's like, fuck out of him. <laughs> but, no, yeah, it was halfway decent. Yeah. Well, that was our take on 2013 Revolver Golden Gods Award. And, um,. Well, I don't know. Yeah, just stay tuned for next year. We'll review that one, too. Hopefully it's better. Hopefully Metallica's there, and they actually, you know... No, hopefully Metallica's not there. Yeah, well, hopefully they straighten up, you know. Well, I guess they're coming out with a new album, too. They better be good. If it's as horrible as uh, that thing with Lou, I'm not even... I, I would hate Metallica if they ever did that. Metallica. Oh, Metallica. It's not even, it's, it's like Metallica back, backwards. Meat liquor. Al, 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 Tim. Al, Tim. Al, Tim. <laughs> so, uh, they shouldn't even have metal in their name anymore. They should be called Shinica. Or Rockica. I don't know. But anyways, that's it. Yeah.